friends, it's Nancy. I filmed a video earlier today and 90% of it was off camera. <laughs> so I hit the delete button. So I'm going to try to keep everything right here. All right. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, I'll, well, I'll give you a bit of an update. I'm, I'm working on this right now. Uh, got some signatures together. I've got to add, I'm, I want to add some vintage lace, but it has to be like really fine lace. So I'm going to put some of this tatting in here. Um, I just want to think about that for a bit. So this weekend I spent all day on Saturday just cleaning my room because it's a mess. I think these are little coin rolling thingamajigs and I thought I would try to make some sort of an envelope from these. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to position that there so I can search uh, fruitlessly for a pencil. Oh well, I'll use a little pen. Um, so I wanted to do, make some envelopes out of book pages, but here's my issue. They're, they just feel really like they're not that hardy. <laughs> okay. So there's my template, I guess. That doesn't look great. That's close. Close enough. Um, they just, they just feel like gross and cracky and not going to last. So I thought I would try this with these coin roller things. And if I make it so it's intentionally already folded and then I collage on top. I'm hoping that will give me what I'm looking for. So I'm going to stick with really thin papers. Like here's, uh, here's some dictionary. I, uh, as I said, I spent all weekend just tidying. Um, I was feeling really overwhelmed by just the sheer volume of stuff and not able to really move um, forward with creating anything. So I happened to, well, recently I've discovered uh, Corey Dahman and I'm a total disciple now. And she did a video, not, well, she's been doing lots of scrap project videos recently, but in one video she showed how she has her scraps organized in, I think, five or six different trays. So I thought, well, I can't think of another, <laughs> too thick, I can't think of a better way to do it, so... Let's go for it. I 
and that was very very helpful um, it made me look at what I had um, what I'm using what I'm not using and what I realized was a lot of the stuff I was storing uh, I'm not going to use so I hemmed and hawed and got the stamp of approval from my crafty crush Catherine <laughs> she said just throw it out so I threw it out I don't want all of this like this dictionary stuff is good but a lot of this is too thick to use I might have to dip into some other books So I, I know I had um, a lot of colored paper, and I never use colored paper. My concern was that I would throw out the colored paper and then all of a sudden I'd want it. And that's just ridiculous. So into the blue box it went. And the, it's, the reason I had it was because, um, you know, it came with something that I bought at a thrift store or a yard sale or whatever. And just stored it because I never used it. Uh, So, it feels great. Um, another thing I did, I it was back to my system of using or losing. So, when I picked up something, I either used it right then and there, and I did make quite a few little projects, or I threw it out. Um, it's a cute little dog. I'm going to save that and use it on another one. <laughs> what the heck is that? Uh, I posted a picture of a few, uh, few of the things that I made on the weekend on Instagram. So if you are following me on Instagram, you saw some of my projects. I feel like I maybe should have prepared some of these before I turned on the camera. But too late.
So what's everybody else been up to? <laughs> We had beautiful weather last week, and then this morning I woke up, checked the weather on my phone. It was minus nine, and I, like, how do we go from gorgeous to minus nine? Crazy. I will ink all of this up when I'm... When I've got it uh, glued, it's not necessary to ink up every individual piece. Okay. I might use some of that. Ooh. Nineteen seventeen. I'm gluing this part because uh, I'll cut off the excess. I don't want to waste it. Looks good. I guess I have to cut the whole thing. All right, now I just need a little something something there at the top. Are you going to be big enough? Sure. Sure. I know I've mentioned this before. I'm trying to get off my sleeping medications. <sighs> feel like a total wimp about it. I think if I had folded that when it was dry, it would have just cr cracked, but I think because it was damp, it folded. I'm just going to let that dry for a minute and I'm going to cut a few more. This is kind of fun. Where's my bone folder? I have these tools. Why don't I use them? Oh, there it is. Now, 
How come that happened? I'm going to fold this differently. And, and I mean, I can. The, the folds aren't going to show because it's going to be covered with uh, the collaged on book page, right? I'll start at the top this time. This is really old music paper. It's pretty. Now I'm getting into some lighter stuff. That's good. These are old magazine pages. Some German. Maybe I'll go that way. Everything's sticking to me. Okay. Oh. Now it's getting crazy. <laughs> I will do some sewing on these because that's kind of my favorite thing. I think I'll use black thread. I don't use black thread a lot. I feel like black thread would be good on these. Okay. This is from a magazine, too. An old, uh, is it Chums? Might be Chums.
Maybe I'll use this side. No, I'll use this one because this has got some different text and stuff. Oh, wrong glue. Oh, see that? I almost used that terrible Elmer's stuff. So close. I'll put this on a little crooked. Hey, what do I do with the other one? I know darn well I made one. Oh, there it is. I will give it another minute. We'll work on this one and then uh, If I put it on like that, Okay, I think I'll put it on like that, and then the cut edges I can cover. Okay. 
I don't want to cover up too much of it. Ooh, that's got a word in it. in it I did not like oh come on Nancy relax your shoulders <laughs> this is supposed to be fun <laughs> I play this stupid game on my phone sometimes and between levels it breaks you know, you take a break and I find myself with my <laughs> shoulders up to my ears. <laughs> I think, why this isn't fun. Why what what am I doing? Thou varlet. That's an old word. Where's that puppy dog? I think I'd like to have that puppy dog now. There he is. Oh, no, he's too big. Is he? too big. I think I'll put this piece behind him though. I think this was uh, from Pride Prejudice because it talks about Mr. Bingley. That up here to dry. Alrighty, so I'm just going to trim off the papers that are hanging over the edge. Let's grab some ink.
looking good. Should I? Uh, I probably should. I just want to mark the center. And I'll grab my big circle punch. I guess it wasn't completely dry yet. See a little lift here. Give that a little bit of glue. Fix it right up. Okay, I'm gonna shut down the camera for a minute while I do a little bit of stitching. Okay, so I've got them all stitched together and inked up. And on the two that didn't have uh, a dog. <laughs> This was a big blank area, so I thought, oh, I gotta do something there. And then I liked it so well there, I put some more on this one. The doggy I'm gonna leave blank for now. But where I got these little labels, my sister gave me four of these. This is this one's from 1948. They were all from the 40s. And um, most of them are stamps, but there are I'm trying to see where we might see some like here's here's a little label here I might fussy cut out here's a little label um this I might cut out square as a label but there's um there's some good stuff in here might be fun to use this for collaging envelopes you know it makes sense to have stamps on envelopes don't you think like these are kind of fun this like this little label here with that nice edging um so i have three more of these i'm gonna i cut one up already and took out all the things i might use Lots of numbers and things. Um, but I think I will tea dye them before I cut them again because I think they look better tea dyed. They're not quite the right color, but I like these. Um, so these could be pinned into a book, um, tucked into a pocket. Lots of little things. Um, and for ones that I don't decorate, I could uh, just like glue three sides and stick it down on a page and then use it as a pocket and then this also as as an envelope I didn't glue anything um, in terms of putting the edges together I just did two two rows of messy stitching I tied off the ends so anyway um, I, I'm seeing lots of um, text paper crafts right now, so um, this is by no means my idea. The idea of using a, uh, coin rollers as a base and folding the papers, and uh, you know that 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 I'm happy to take credit for. <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Um, hopefully we'll get to do some more crafting in, in the coming week because I have three or four journals that are on the go. All right, you take care. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.